Hello everybody. Happy Monday morning. I've got my hair down because this is my off week. Hello <laughs> everybody. It's Monday morning and uh, it's a beautiful day here in Santa Barbara. The sun is shining and um, I have my hair down because it's my week off. Sort of. Uh, so this week I am sort of taking a break. I'm, I'm doing a couple of strength workouts. Uh, it's going to get, there's going to be an intense one on Saturday if all goes well, but most of the week I'm going to be taking it kind of easy. So today instead of cardio hit, I want to switch things up a little bit, do some stretching, get sort of stretched out. I've been having some uh, back issues. Good morning, Ashley. So glad you could join. So my back has been a little jacked up past week. And I think part of it is I'm a stomach sleeper. I sleep on my stomach. I try not to, but sometimes I just mm, get stuff with the back and then leaning over, picking things up, sort of like a bot in one of those. What is it? The bird, the bird that sort of like goes up. Anyway. So I'm giving my back a break this week and we're going to go stretch. So. I have a happy Monday morning stretch. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. Um, and what we're gonna do is the first half hour is gonna be similar to other stretch stuff I've done before. So it's just gonna be 30 minutes of stretching, 30 seconds of move, and we're gonna try to flow through. We'll see how this flow goes, how this flow goes. The last 15 minutes, I'm gonna focus on uh, a selection of mobility moves. So we're gonna try those out. Uh, I've been reading up about a bunch of mobility. There's one, the thoracic spine, one I love, love, love. It's my new favorite move. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my hair down today. Wow. I need a haircut. It's sad, but. All right, we're gonna start this playlist in three, two, one. Here we go. We're gonna start standing and then go down to lying down. We're going to have a couple of wall moves, but other than that, you should not need anything. Okay. Ooh, senior discount for plumbing. So excited about that. Can I just do my playlist? Thank you. All right. So we're gonna start really simple in two seconds. Just gonna turn our head to the side, pulling our shoulders down. I always like to start with the neck and then work. Well, we're gonna work down to the floor. We're gonna put some, you'll see. <laughs> so looking to the side, pulling down, reaching through your shoulders, through your fingertips, pulling down to the ground. Just look into the side. Turn to the other side. <sighs> so excited that the sun is out. June gloom, we're in the home stretch. No more June gloom. July, I don't know what's something that rhymes in July. Fully? Actually, July is like that word purple, like, they got that word purple. <laughs> Look down. July is a little bit like the word purple. I can't think of anything that rhymes with it. Ashley, can you think of anything that rhymes with purple? I mean, July, I mean, purple. Maybe purple and July actually just rhyme. We're going to say they do today. Keep looking down. And in five seconds, we're going to do like a little, we're going to tilt, so side and look down. Ah, yeah. So it's not quite fully tilted to the side, it's not quite looking down, it's a little in between. Gonna go to the other side in eight seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. 
Ooh. Definitely got a stiff neck today. I have been very bad about stretching. I used to stretch like half an hour before every, for every workout when I would go to the gym. I was still good. I also had a lot more time, it felt like. <laughs> so the next one, we're going to take one hand and grab the arm and pull it out. So three, two, one. So we're going to pull this arm and we're just going to tilt our head to the side towards that elbow that's sticking out. Getting just a little bit deeper stretch. Really stretching the neck. Breathing. Three seconds, we're gonna switch. There we go, other side. So I noticed today, I, I woke up and uh, I've been having sinus issues the past couple of days, and this morning I woke up and it was like, <clears throat> sort of gross. So I'm sort of sniffling and sinusy and drainage. Fine. Someone say something. All right, three seconds. We're gonna give ourselves a pat on the back. Here we go. Stretching that tricep. So just arms straight up. Pressing back. We try to look up different stretches for different muscles. You know, just ways to, you know, mix it up. Still looking for a lot of tricep stretches. <laughs> I haven't found that many. All right, five seconds. We're going to switch to the other side. Two, one, other side. Ah. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hands together behind our back and we're going to move them up. I'll show you in a second. We're going to clasp our hands behind our back, moving our hands as high up our back as we can, and then sticking our chest out. In three, two, one, so hands together up high, sticking the chest out. This is stretching your interior deltoids. And it looks so sort of weird. Stick that chest up. Oh. Just sort of intense. Ten seconds. Remember your hands are as high as you can get them on your back. Three, two, one. So we're gonna have our hand in front of 90 degrees. Bring it across. So notice our, our shoulder is low. This is trying to stretch the medial deltoid. So I really have to pull hard to get this stretch to work. We're going to go to the other side in a few seconds. One. Here we go. So bend 90 degrees, pulling down and low. Across your chest. How's it going, Ashley? Hope you're enjoying this. In 10 seconds, we're going to do, uh, it should be rear delt deltoid. This will just be the arm across the chest like you're used to. So this is just a slightly different angle. Here we go. Art <coughs> out and across. So we just stretch all three deltoid muscles. Aren't you, aren't you happy about that? Now keep your shoulder down. I feel a little bit of stretch in my triceps too. Two, one, other side. Ooh. So after this, we're going to go against the wall. And we're going to press both of our hands against the wall. We've got three stretches against the wall. So. The first one is just be putting both hands on it and sort of bending over. Starting in three seconds. Two, 
One. So hands against the wall. Bending down, torso parallel to the ground. Oh yeah. Keeping your core tight to protect your back while you're doing this. Now what we're going to do in 10 seconds, we're going to stretch the lat. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove one hand and then we're going to lean into that hand that's still against the wall. So two, one. So one hand down. And I'm just sort of rotating into it. So you should be feeling the stretch in your lats. I've got one knee sort of slightly bent to help me get into it. Ooh, a little bit of low back stretch too. You should be feeling it right here in your lap. Head always do some lat stretches. Five seconds, we're going to switch sides. Other side. So bending the left, I have my right hand up, bending my left knee, rotating a little bit, pressing against the wall, feeling the stretch in the lap. Oh, I've been uh, working on my pull-ups, so my lats could use some more stretching because they're getting worked out. In fact, oh, I do have to do pull-ups today. Whew. Not good. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to go against the wall, do a pec stretch. So basically face the wall, rotate out, sniffle, sniffle a little bit. This is our last wall stretch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get into all fours, quad, quadruped position. Other side. Ooh. And she will take a little break after this, this little three second break. <sighs> How are you doing so far? Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Take a break. <sighs> three second break. So we're going to get down on all fours for this next series. And I might move my cue card because I can't read it because I'm so blind. No, okay. Feeling good so far, I hope. Oh, so necessary. Oh, my sinuses are so meh. All right, so we're gonna start in quadruped position with our fingers facing us and we're gonna lean back. Stretching our forearms. Oh. I haven't done aerial in a while, but when you do aerial, this is definitely very beneficial. Now remember when you're in this position, still want to make sure you're not arching or anything, putting any pressure on your low back. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to flip our hands over, and we're going to have the tops of our, the backs of our hands on the ground. Here we go. And again, leaning back. Wrist flexor, flexors and extenders. So in 10 seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to take our favorite arm and we're going to thread it through the other arm. Two, one. So thread it through. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Pass the book. Can't see how much time is left, but I hope it's forever because I like this. Other side. Three for So the next move, we're going to have both. We're going to come up on both hands and just cross our hands over one another. I'm pressing up. See that in a few seconds, I think. 
So cross the hands over and press up. Really emphasize that, just kind of get that stretch right here. Ten more seconds. Let me see what's next. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we're just going to stay in cat, bring our hands back up. Neck down. Ten seconds. Let me do that stretch a little bit. And now we go to cow. Ooh. Head up. So in 10 seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to put one arm down, so you're resting on one forearm. We're going to lean towards that side, and we're going to move our other hand. So in two seconds, so come down, lean towards the side, and you're going to walk your other hand up and around and over. Ooh, baby. So you got like a little bit of a side lean. The last stretch. Other side. Try to walk that hand over as far as you can. Up and over that other palm. I was looking at a lot of lat stretches. Oh, nice. All right, take a break. Let me check the time. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing fine. Okay. So now uh, we're going to take this break, talk about some lying down moves. We're going to get on our stomach first, and we're going to do the Cobra series that I like to do. So we're going to start with hands together and uh, feet together. And then we'll gradually move our hands back and move our legs farther apart. So here we go. So pressing, so our feet are together, pressing down with our hands, which are right, they're together and above our head. Notice our torso is, our back is up just a little bit. Sniffle, sniffle. All right, hands closer. Feet a little wider apart. Notice my hands are still above the shoulders. Next time they're going to be at the shoulders. Shoulders on my back. I'm telling myself this. All right, so shoulders, hands by your shoulders, legs wider apart. If you can't get this range of motion, that's totally okay. Just do what's accessible for you. What we're going to do next is we're going to flip over and we're going to work our biceps. Well, we're going to stretch them. Three, two, one. So basically, we're just going to be sort of in a weird reverse plank, bringing our butt towards our heels, stretching the bicep. I think someone wrote something, I can't really see it. I'm going to take a quick break just to go see, press pause.
All right. All right, glad you're enjoying it. Let's get, keep going. We're gonna lie down, put one leg up, try to bring your toe towards you. We're gonna stretch the hamstring. <laughs> Eight seconds. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the toe inward and bring the leg across. My least favorite stretch ever. Toe inward across. Oh, stretch the tip. Oh my gosh. Remember, trying to keep that toe, that foot flexed. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend the knee and we're going to do a figure four stretch by bringing that other leg up before we go to the other side. So bend the knee, bring that other knee forward, stretch the glute. Nice. So nice. Ten seconds, we're going to go to the other side. All right, other side, so straight leg. Look at that nice transition. One point knee. <laughs> Trying to see what that other one is. Can't read. Oh, okay. I think I got it. Oh, nice. All right, rotate that toe and bring that leg across. Ooh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> I can feel my other boot activating like, ah. Like sympathy spasms, I don't know. In eight seconds, we're gonna go to that figure four stretch. All right, bring that knee across. Oof. Ah, so nice. Just hang out. All right, so in three seconds, we're going to get on our side. And we're just going to do a quad stretch. So my knees are together. You can bend the other one if you want, but I'm going to try not to lean forward too much. So knees together. Three seconds, we're going to pull the knee back. Like this to stretch the hip flexor. Now, what I want you—I want you to get the stretch in the hip flexor. If it's putting too much pressure on your knee, you don't have to bend it as much. But I do want you to get that leg back. So the one knee should be behind the other knee. And we're gonna flip over really quick in five seconds. Three, two, one. Flip over, Oy. stretch that quad, knees together. In 10 seconds, we're gonna pull that knee back. Behind the other knee, we stretch the hip flexor. Three, two, one. Feeling that stretch right here. And your psoas. Wow. 
All right, in three seconds, we're gonna go into child's pose. Ah. Here we go, feet together, knees apart. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the cramp, ah! What we're gonna do after this is we're gonna put one hand on top of the other while staying in child's pose. So I'm gonna put my left hand on top of my right hand, lean to the side. Ooh, yeah. Shoulders down and back, don't have them scrunching your ears, even in a stretch. Think about your good posture and position. That's great. Other side, right hand over left, knee to the side, nice side stretch. All right, take a break. So, we are about half an hour in. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna do a series of mobility moves and we're gonna spend like one to two minutes on each of them. Twitch, eye twitch, sort of like an eye twitch. <laughs> we're gonna spend for 30 minutes doing eye twitches. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some water. And so what we're going to do is, these are going to be um, somewhat slow moves. We're not going to take it too fast. It's really weird moving with all my hair around. It's really long. All right. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go into downward dog to upward dog. Okay. Start with my plank move. Can't see with my hair. All right, two, one. So downward dog, upward dog. Downward dog, really get those hips up. Try to get the heels towards the ground. Plank, upward dog. Downward dog. Let's go for another 30 seconds. Downward dog. Upward dog. Downward dog. Maybe do a little calf stretch. Do a little calf stretch. We've been doing a lot of calf stretch today. A little calf stretch. All right, upward dog. Oof. Let's keep going. Downward dog. Stretch those calves. Upward dog. Ten more seconds of this. All right, take a break. So the next one we're gonna do, we'll do a minute each side. So we're gonna do sort of a spider lunge. So the foot up near my hand, and then we're gonna lean back and do a hamstring stretch, the foot dorsiflex. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth for that. All right, minute each side. Here we go, two, one. So, stretch, come back. So notice my back knee is on the ground. And I've got my leg straight in my spider lunge. Come back, foot flexed. Take your time, go at your own pace. 
holding it for a couple of seconds each time. We're going to do this for another 30 seconds, then we're going to switch sides. Keeping your back straight on that lean back. Keeping your legs straight, I'm going to lean forward. Five seconds, we're going to switch sides. Two, one. All right. Slider. Hamstring. Slider. Ooh. Ooh. Nice hamstring stretch and back stretch. On that lean back. Keep going, do another 30 seconds. Two more seconds. Ooh. Five seconds. Two. One, all right, take a break. All right, so, uh, where am I? Where am I going with this? Okay. Okay, so, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with our legs like this. So I've got, I'm sort of tilt, facing this way. So my one leg is like, it's in a pigeon pose, and then the other one's 90 degrees. And we're just gonna rotate, Back and forth, okay? So side. You have your arms up, torso upright. What? Fucking the mobility. Mobility Monday. I call it, I usually do modality Monday, but today it's mobility Monday. Oh, aren't I clever? Take this nice and slow. Maybe you can't get all the way down. Maybe your mobility is not as good. Just see where you are. Where are you today? Where are you? I'm in my house. Workout's coming from inside the house. Oh, oh. Uh, there's a joke there somewhere. Let me see. I'm sort of moving forward. Whew. Keep going. Do another five seconds. Ooh. Okay, shake that out. So this next move, you may not be there. So you're gonna stretch to the side, then you're gonna turn your leg in. So you're gonna lunge, side to the left, ooh, <laughs> lunge to the side, rotate your hip inward. And if you can, you're gonna do this in a Cossack lunge, okay? So we're gonna start, here we go. So hip, rotate in. The bent knee comes in. Now again, if you're up here, that's what it looks like. Keeping your back straight. You can always just try, if you don't want to do the internal rotation, if that's too much strain on you, just do what you can. You can take it out. Ooh. Two more seconds. All right, take a break. Ah. Ah. I feel it, I feel it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have a straddle, a good straddle, feet flex, toes pointing towards you, your kneecaps up, and then we're gonna start a little 
sequence. All right, so arms out. So we're gonna lean, lean. You can do this fun little hand flip if you like. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Five seconds. We're gonna do a side lean. We're gonna hold. Here we go. Oh, so we got one hand down, one hand up in the air, reaching, and you want to rotate your chest out so that you're sort of in this, your body, your torso is in this plane as opposed to like rotating in. You can look up at your hand, wave to yourself, reaching through the side. Keep those feet flex. Three, two, one. We're gonna go back to that side lean. Come the torso upright. I'm gonna fix my, I'm gonna keep leaning, but I'm gonna fix my headphones. Woo. Can you guess what's coming next? Can you go to the other side? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, reach to the side. Reach to that arm. Wave high, high. Feet flex. Five more seconds. One, take a break. All right, we got Max. Oh, okay. So this next one, you're gonna be on one knee, and what you're gonna do is you're going to work on dorsiflexion and then plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion. Plantar flexion. Okay, here we go. Get started. So bring your foot up. So I'll take my hand out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to really uh, make a smaller angle, work on my dorsiflexion. You may not be able to have this kind of ankle mobility. You may be like, and you're stuck. So I'm working on this. Keep going. So you're just going to work on plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Do a little bit of a toe curl too. Let's see if you can. Sounds a little weird. <laughs> Not going to lie. Alright, I'm going to try the other side. So leaning forward, getting a smaller angle, see how far you can move your hand forward, and then getting a nice stretch the other way. So a lot of people, when they have trouble with their squats, and their, um, their feet, like their ankles come in, or their feet turn out, or anything like that, a lot of the problems come from not having good dorsiflexion. So working on being able to flex your foot like this, making that smaller angle, it's going to help you with your squats. You get better squat position. So notice I want to come forward. If my heel starts to come off, then you sort of know where I lost mobility. Oh. One more seconds. All right, that was strange. <laughs> Thanks for trying that with me. All right, how much time we got left? Oh, we've got a few minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna do, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna line our back, arms out, and we're just gonna move our hips, our knees side to side, okay? 
Gonna work on some spinal flexibility, mobility. Two, one, here we go. We're gonna do this for one minute. So see if you can keep your shoulders on the ground as you're doing this twist. Keep going. Let's do 30 more seconds of this. Keep those shoulders down. And we're going to finish with my favorite new move, my favorite new move. So what I want you to do is, you're sort of going to get in this little side lean, okay? And you're going to have your uh, your lower arm, you can just have it resting, have your hand rest on your side. You're going to make little swoops with your arm. So what this is going to look like, I'm going to start here, I'm going to come over, and then I'm going to follow, I'm going to twist my whole torso as I do this. So I'm going to be watching my hand on the back side. Here we go. Oh, there goes my, both my hip points. Oh. I'm just doing little circles. Again, just looking on that thoracic. Mobility. Oh, this is so nice. I love this. I'm going to do this for 30 more seconds. So yeah, uh, there's a woman online, I can't remember her name, on Instagram, she's the physio fix, and uh, she's got some really great moves for mobility, because she's a physical therapist, and um, yeah, it's good stuff. So, stole this from her, thank you. Five more seconds. And take a break. Ooh, let's go to the other side. Ah, I think you wrote something. Oh. No. Oh. All right. Last move. We're going to go to the other side. I'm going to fix my headphones and see if they stay in. All right. So, on your side. Here we go. Follow your hand behind. Rotating your whole, rotating your slide. Ooh, nice little stretch. Oh, hip <laughs> um, already knocked out. Ah, forget it. I'm gonna do this for 30 more seconds, and then we're gonna call it a day. My hand up here, it's not really the end of the world. Ten more seconds. Nice. Slow and controlled movements. Three, two, one, and you're done. Good job today, Ashley. Hope you enjoyed that. So we worked on stretching, we worked on mobility, a little bit of mobility work, and hope you feel it all loosey-goosey. What a nice way to start your week, don't you think? So if this made you, well, this workout prob probably did not make you sweat, but if it made you smile, feel like showing your appreciation, donations are always welcome. Um, hello, everyone who joined in and um, said hi. Uh, and also, Thank you for showing up because you're that much stronger and hopefully that much more flexible for showing up today. So um, it's always fun to work out with friends. So Ashley, have a wonderful day. Everybody have a wonderful day. Take care. Love you. Bye.